classifying data. Now, when we classify data, we can split it up into two classifications. Now, these classifications are at the top. They are categorical data and numerical data. Now, categorical basically means putting it in a category. And numerical data basically means it's a number. Okay, so here are some examples. Um, a person's sex, right? Because the two categories are male or female. The another one might be um, the size of pizza. Could be small, medium, or large. Uh, when you do numerical data, you'll notice that you actually get numbers as your results. For instance, um, how many students in my class might be 30 kids, or how tall are you? Might be um, 175 centimeters. Right, so notice that numerical data you get numbers and that for categorical data you actually get usually words or letters. Now each of these classifications are also split into another two classifications. So categorical data can be split into what is known as nominal and ordinal data. Now when you look at the word ordinal, think of the word order. For instance, the size can't seem to spell today. When we spoke about the size of your pizza, there was an order to it, small, medium, or large. This applies to the size of clothes you buy, small, medium, large, extra large, and so on. Anything that has an order to it must be ordinal data. Okay, And then we have um, nominal data where there really isn't an order, and that might be a person's hair colour, which might be blonde, black, um, red, and so on. And the reason it's nominal data is it really doesn't matter the order in which you write them in. It could be red, black, blonde. There's no order to these. Okay, let's go back to numerical data. And under numerical data, the two categories are discrete and continuous. So we'll start by talking about continuous and the key word is the continuous word which kind of means forever and these are numbers that basically go on forever. We'll have the ability to go on forever. We'll write that down in fact. Ability to go on forever. Oops, on or ever. For instance, a person's height might only be 175 centimeters. Now that number doesn't go on forever. But it all depends on the accuracy of your measuring instrument. For instance, something that was more accurate might measure them as 175.1 centimeters, or even more accurate again. 175.12039 centimeters. And the thing is, a person's height, the number, has the potential to go on forever. So any number that has the potential to go on forever is considered continuous data. And then we've got discrete data, and a really good example of that is how many students in class, all right? Because when you do this, it's always a whole number. For instance, 30 kids. You don't have 30.5 kids in a class. You don't have 30.123 kids in a class. Therefore, it's discrete data. 